Make sure that you're taking a clean measurement. Next, go around the waist. Always go to the smallest part of the waist and take the clean measurement. Going around the hips, go for the biggest part of the hips. You can take your time to make sure and adjust the measuring tape so that it's on the biggest round. So for the collar measurement, it really depends if you want to do a high neck, mock neck, or some people call it a turtle neck, or if you want to do just a base round collar. If you're doing a turtle neck or a mock neck, go around the middle of the neck. If you're not doing a high neck, go around the base collar of the neck. And this will give you a clean measurement, again, not too tight. Next, we're going to take the shoulder measurements. For the shoulder measurements, you're basically going to do from shoulder bone to shoulder bone according to the contour of the shoulder. Now, some people have a more narrow sliding shoulder, some people have what we call swimmer shoulder. Whatever it is, go according to the contour of the dancer. Look for the shoulder bone and go over to the contour of the shoulder down to the other shoulder bone. Now, why we don't want to take a flat measurement is because this is not the same for every dancer. So we want to make sure that we go over from one bone to the other bone. We're going to take the back length. For the back length, we're going to go from the middle.